it is so cold outside it's not so cold but it's cold enough that i'm gonna layer up because i'm clearly not dressed warm enough for my liking i get cold easily so we're gonna throw on the overalls on top of the sweatpants This year for Christmas, Roman, my oldest son, he asked me for a pair of Carhartt insulated bib overalls. Now, you'd think maybe that's a strange gift, but for me it's very strange, and I'll tell you why. Roman does not, or he did not dig this farm lifestyle, and the fact that he's asking me for farm gear <laughs> was shocking for me. I felt I was happy about it, but I was surprised. So for Christmas, he's getting, he doesn't watch this channel, so I'm not worried about him finding out, but he's going to get a pair of Carhartt insulated bib overalls. I think he'll like them because he bundles up to do the chores and I'm going to borrow his boots or Michael's boots. I never know whose boots I'm borrowing. These are the best barn boots. I wish we had these from the beginning. We went through so many different brands and types of boots, but this brand is the best and it's the warmest in the winter and it's cool in the summer and they're waterproof and they're easy to get on and off. I made a TikTok about them, but let me show you. I borrow my kids' boots because I know one of them will eventually outgrow their boots, so I'll have to upgrade their size. So I'm just gonna hold on to whichever one because uh, I can fit into both. So, recycle, reuse. I'm putting on the boots and I'll show you which brand I love. It's called the Original Muck Boot. This is the Edgewater Edition. They're waterproof, they're neoprene, they're insulated. They're simply awesome. I can put them on easily. I just realized I forgot my barn jacket in the house and I already put my boots on. Luckily, these come on and off super easily so I can just pull them off and put them back on. But I gotta get a jacket. It's too cold out here without one today. Much better. I'm visiting Monoshock's geese while I'm out here. Hi, geese. You're so pretty. You guys party every night at 2 a.m., don't you? And you wake me up. You say, goose party at 2 a.m. These guys party. 2 a.m. They rock it on. They party on. Good for them. They're enjoying life. I was getting the cat. I saw that there was some guineas. And now I see there's a chicken loose that doesn't belong outside. They're supposed to be in their coop. Penny, penny. You're supposed to be on the other side of the fence. How could you be on this side? Where are you going? are very loud. Oh, it's cold out. I don't know if you're going to find anything today, but look. It is bitterly windy cold out today. It's a huge shift and transition from our 64 degrees. The wind is insanely bitterly cold today. Oh, my fingers are cold. I layered up for everything except my fingers. I also ordered a pair of bib insulated overalls for my younger son, Michael. Unfortunately, they had a limited amount of sizes, so his may be too big on him. So I may have to exchange them. Um, they haven't arrived yet, and obviously I haven't given it to them yet because it's not the holidays, but we'll see how that goes. You need lots of different gear for farming. In a previous YouTube video, I made a chicken water out of a garbage can and some chicken nipples. Let me show you. I put it in the barn as an experiment and I placed a water heater, a specific animal water heater, um, to see if it keeps the water 
if the water remains in the liquid state. My biggest concern was that the nipples would freeze because they're made out of metal, but I'm going to test it out right now since it's below freezing. Let's see what happens, and if it works, that would be such good news. Again, everything gets dusty. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's melting the plastic. That's not good. So that's the tank defroster. It appears to be working because it evaporated some water. This nipple is underwater. The one I was testing was no longer underwater. I'm gonna attempt to put a pallet in the chicken coop and then place that chicken water that I created over the summer out of the garbage can in there and see if it works. Because if that worked, that would be a much better way to keep water in the chicken coop, a bigger quantity of water available to them for drinking. Here's the pallet. Oh, you can't leave the chicken coop, not into the barn, no. We're deciding to lay eggs in random spots. Whoa, I'm gonna put the pallet here because I have an electric plug here to keep the the icer on. Hi, Patches. It's not gonna work. It melted a hole. The water defroster melted a hole in the garbage can. So that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to find a different solution. So the trash can water melted. You can see it has a hole. I had placed this defroster in it. You can see that it melted the plastic. So that's going to be a no-go water for the winter. I created something else. I took an old pallet and put some milk crates on and then put the waters on top of that. I need to go buy a base heater. A base heater heats the metal base of the water so that the water stays defrosted otherwise the their water will freeze up in the winter this is our new water setup i used a pallet two milk crates and then the metal waters i need to buy a base warmer that'll keep both of these waters unfrozen in the winter because it gets very cold and their waters will freeze we had some base heaters, but I don't trust them anymore. And it's better to it's better to be safe than sorry in a barn in a barn circumstance because you don't want a accidental barn fire. That would be catastrophic. Hey chicky doo. Um, so I'm gonna go buy some two more base water heaters. I found that they last about two, three, four years, depending on the brand. I um, mean, they work really well, but you have to use a metal chicken water for it to work um, because I think the plastic, it can melt the plastic chicken waters. They do make plastic chicken heated waters now, but my theory of using the garbage can water from the summer is not going to work. And in fact, I'm going to have to rebuild that because that one is now trash. Haha, <laughs> it's trash can because a hole got melted in it, but... 
There's the learning curve at, of homesteading. Here's the nesting box where they lay the eggs sometimes. Lately, not so much. Hi, Shadow. Hi, Zeus. Where's Athena? Oh, she has her ball. Okay, we have to feed the dogs. Water. Athena's always looking for some cuddles, aren't you? Aren't you, girl? You're so innocent until you eat the chickens and the guineas. Then you're not so innocent, sweetie. The one thing I thought would fall apart in that windstorm we had was not my beehive, but this. stayed intact. I wish that had fallen apart instead of my beehive, but say la vie. 64. Freezing. And there we go, another successful day of homesteading and getting the chores done, getting the cat vaccinated, and keeping up with things, especially the weather changes. And I wash the eggs so that they are clean. And they are ready to eat. There is nothing like farm fresh eggs. Yum, yum. Thank you so much for joining us. We're so happy you're with us on our adventures. Stay with us. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. We'd love to hear from you. We love reading your comments. And we will get back to you. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you all. Take care. Peace out.